Well, straight ahead, they willingly enter the line of fire to make sure our troops have a few moments of entertainment in tough times. They are true morale boosters and big supporters of the USO. So why do they do it? We're going to ask Leanne Tweeden from Fox Sports. She's just back from Baghdad and is here next. Well, it's more important than ever, especially as we celebrate the holiday, that our troops know they are not forgotten. For years, that was the job of people like Bob Hope, who put our soldiers first. Very happy to be back here. Achoo-coochie. <laughs> Coochie, that's Vietnamese. For you on it, you can have it. Well, while Bob may be gone, his work continues, thanks to the efforts of folks like comedian Robin Williams, actor Gary Sinise, and singer Wayne Newton. Then, there's Leanne Tweeden, co-host of the Best Damn Sports Show, period, on Fox. Leanne is just back from Baghdad, where she traveled with the USO, and she joins us from Washington. Leanne, thanks so much for joining us. I got to tell you, there are a lot of guys here who are very disappointed you're not joining me in the studio. Oh, I'm sorry. Well, I happen to be home for the holidays. I'm from this area, but uh, well, I'll come up and visit New York, I promise. Well, that's good. And I know that you didn't disappoint the troops when you visited. Um, you were right there on the ground. You talked to many of them. Describe their morale. You know, the morale is great. They're there to do their job. They know what their mission is, and they're very set on that. And it's um. You know, it makes me proud to be an American. This was my third trip into Iraq, actually, in my sixth USO tour overall. So I've been on the ground there. Um, we were the first civilians in after the war started in 2003. We were there in June. So I've seen it sort of transition a little bit. I've been back to some bases that I was at last year, and they have, you know, more facilities and more hard buildings for these guys to live in. And so things have changed a lot, but the morale is definitely up. And we thank you very much for going there. You know, you're putting yourself in harm's way by doing this. Why do you? You know, I'm just proud to be an American. My father was in the Air Force and he served in the Vietnam War and he told me about Bob Hope and Raquel Welch coming to visit him in the jungles of Phan Rang in the middle of the war. And when I was younger, I didn't understand that. I, I always grew up in a very patriotic household, but as I got older, I really understood what it meant and how much it meant to my dad. And he still talks about that to this day. And I have many friends in the military. And actually, I got to see some of my friends while I was over there. And, you know, to me, being very successful in, in the entertainment business, uh, you know, I feel like I need to give something back. And, and if this is something I can do and, you know, maybe make memories for somebody when they come home after serving our great country, then this is why I do it. And you've also been raising funds for Pat Tillman, who's the former NFL star who, of course, was killed last year. Um, tell me about that. You know, John Elway went with us, and the NFL has been a great supporter of the USO. I think they donated about a quarter of a million dollars for this Pat Tillman USO Center that we opened up in Afghanistan. But, you know, we want to remind everyone it's not just about Pat Tillman. I mean, yes, he was a very uh, forward face in this, whole, in this whole thing. You know, he gave up a million-dollar contract or millions of dollars in contracts from the NFL to do what he thought he was, you know, he was supposed to do, and he wanted to serve his country, and, and he served in the Army, and he was killed, unfortunately. But we want to remember everyone who has given up their life for this cause and for their country. Yes, and absolutely. And he, of course, did not seek publicity, um, no. uh, even though we do remember him today. Um, I'm sure this must have been very rewarding and humbling. What is your most memorable moment? Um, probably seeing my friends... Um, I have friends, Tyler Thompson and Chris Doherty, that are Air Force pilots, and actually we flew into that base, the very first base that we went to when I flew there. And to see friends that you've known for years when you land, um, and I also saw my friend David Mills in the Marines, I mean, you kind of go and you see these people that I know lots of families would just wish that they could see their loved ones for five minutes and hug them and see that they're okay. And I got to do that with a few of my friends over there, so that probably was the most memorable. And um, you help so much, we just wanted to show how people might be able, here at home might be able to help by going to www.uso.org. Absolutely. There's a, there's a lot of things you can do. And, um, you know, the USO will help distribute funds and give out phone cards that these guys need to call home and stay in touch with their families. And, yes. you know, care centers or care packages and the USO centers that help them when they're deployed right. and when they come home. So every, every little bit helps. All right. And we, we thank you for your help. Leanne Absolutely. Tweeting. Thank you for having me, Brenda. Just back from Baghdad.